What is up guys, the time has come to swap compressors in these water source heat pumps to continue my little project. This is the uh, recently acquired Mammoth unit, three ton. Be taking out that ZR34 compressor, that is 460 volts. Going to be taking out this 460 volt blower motor, probably gonna put an ECM in there, or I might just put a regular 230 in there for now. And then I'm going to uh, gut the reverse and valve because I don't need it because it's pretty much always going to run in cooling mode. Using that water heat exchanger over there that's larger than that other one in that train. So I'm going to put um, the two-ton reciprocating that I have for now from the train into here. So I'm believing that with the uh, larger heat exchanger might be able to achieve higher water temperatures before it drives up the head pressure too far. So we're gonna see, that's gonna be the next step. The reason I've decided to go with this unit instead of putting this heat exchanger in the train is I wasn't so sure this heat exchanger would fit. Also, just this coil just looks really clean. I mean, it's got a couple little foo bars in it, but overall, I mean, it's a nice looking rubber coil. I can see the light right through it. That is clean. So, and it's got the slab claw all the way. I'll just run the blower slower for the lower capacity compressor, the uh, train unit. I was gonna have to clean this one. Plus, it's just, I mean, look at that coil. It's just crammed in there. It's just, yeah. This one's way more nasty, even though it's a little more compact. But I measured the shelf in my garage that's very close to the water heater, and uh, I have plenty of room just right to fit that mammoth cabinet in there so um, what is up guys so uh last night i worked on this unit until it got dark on me where i just left it on nitrogen after changing the compressor the good news is 200 psi that's where i left it yesterday so i'm ready to blow that out begin vacuuming this down oh look there was a high side port right there so now i have two yeah Put a micron gauge on it now. So this is the Mammoth unit. We've got the little ZR22 K6. It's basically a 210 reciprocating compressor. Three phase, 230 volt. Ought to run good on the VFD now. Got to put this uh, expansion valve on there. This is still the expansion valve for the three ton unit, but I think when I slow down the blower, I think it'll clamp down enough we'll find out if not i'm gonna to have to put the other expansion valve in here but so there was a reversing valve right here yesterday on this unit it's straight pipe now cooling mode only hot gas from the compressor going directly into the heat exchanger as it should so begin the vacuum pump and with any luck i might actually get to run this tonight but i don't know we'll see how long that sun lasts i've had the vacuum pump Turned off for a while, holding about 400 microns there. So, uh, definitely gonna be good and tighten. <laughs> Shut up, dog! One thing the guys are gonna notice is that I did not put a new filter dryer in there yet, but I don't know how this is gonna work. The filter dryer was not plugged before. I'm probably gonna have to do some tweaks in here, so I didn't wanna open up a new filter dryer yet, so. And this is just <laughs> a bastardization unit. So just uh, going to be playing around with it, see what it can do. This was a running system. So I pretty much just pumped it down, cut it out, re-welded it, evacuated it really good. So it's going to be fine. Okay, I ran out of light. That's the way it is in the spring. Got the panel on. Compressor vacuum down 400 microns. I dropped two and a half pounds of refrigerant in there to break the vacuum. Gonna leave it that way. Compressor wires there. I've pre wired over here, put a basic transformer back into it with a 9340 relay going to low speed over in the blower. I did put in the small blower from the train unit. Uh, the panels to the blower and the compressor we didn't I didn't bring home it's in the uh, co-workers van which I think he chucked them so I'm probably gonna have to cannibalize some of the old train panels to cover these up but just want to make sure that works correctly here's the old small blower off the train unit and it does 
blow the same way down and out so that's good in fact this metal bracket that this train motor was on uh, fit right in here on this mammoth so actually the other motor I took out the 460 volt is still tied to the bracket that came out of this so everything lined up in here so that's good used to have the capacitor over here this was the one that I ohmed out was just zeroed out with the uh, common or the you know line 2 wire whatever you want to call it so I found out this one was a capacitor wire dead end connected that over here that way I could keep the capacitor over here where it was already mounted so here is where I'm going to tie in like uh, line one is going to tie in here line two here go over to the motor feed the relay also um, through this wires here uh, line one and line two and ground is going to go to the VFD input too bad that VFD is not going to fit in right here so I'll probably have to make a bracket for it or something right here but for now I'll probably just uh yeah, I'll just have to, maybe I'll just probably scoot on the outside at first, just for temporary operation and for testing. But out of light, not going to see it run tonight, the bastardization of water source heat pump. So it will be to be continued.